Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGym007 and today we're looking at the Decent Holograms plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin that is pretty extensive in being able to create these holograms and customizing them. Now there's tons of cool features. You can see this one in fact has an entity inside of it and you can see there's color codes and everything. And then there is also a third hologram in front of me that if I go a little bit closer, you can see there are some animations which are very cool. And then this one's actually interactive. So if I right click it, it turns into a secondary hologram. This is the second page. And this one just shows you a ton of the different animations that you can use. And then if we left click, it will go back to the first page, the original one that I've created. So there's a ton of commands. You can create them in game or out of the game and you can do a bit of both to edit and create whichever ones you like. So let's jump into how to create a brand new one. So the first thing we want to do is the forward slash dh command and then we can do dh help. That's going to show you some commands but what we want to do is dh and then h that is going to be for holograms and then what we want to do is put c for create and then we can call it something so we can call it server miner. And that's going to create one beneath my feet. So if you're standing in the ground, it will be underground, which obviously you don't want. So another command you can use is the DHH and then move here command. And then you can choose whichever one you want. So I might choose demo for this one. And then that's going to move my demo hologram over here to my feet. So that's very useful if you ever want to move them or didn't place it correctly initially. So let's go ahead and add some more lines to this to make it a little more interesting. We can do DH and this time L for lines. And then we're going to add to server miner and then it's going to be page one. And now we can add a few different ones. Just you can use color codes. You can make it as interesting as you like. Um, let's add another one. So maybe and two test. And let's do one more. Use multiple format codes if you want and some squiggles. So there we go, we have made our hologram just like that. We can set some lines if we don't want the first one in there. So if we do set and then server minor, it's going to be uh, page one and then line one, we can set it as title like that. And then another cool feature is if we do DH and then H, scroll down here, you can see there's a ton of commands. We can do display range for server minor and we could do eight blocks. And then when we go slightly further away, you can see it now disappears. And then when we go back, it reappears. So if we go back into this, we'll have a quick look at some of the other commands. So you can copy, you can clone. Um, if we scroll down, you can disable, re-able it. You can have it facing you if you want. You can move it to a specific coordinate if you wanted. Um, make sure you put in whatever coordinates you'd want to move it to and lots of things like that. So what we're gonna do now is actually hop over to the config file. I find that a much easier to edit something like this and we can make it more interesting like that one over there. So here we are on the Decent Hologram Spigot page and there is a really handy wiki here that we can have a look at. And they have some example holograms that we can use as a reference basically. So if we have a look down here, we can see the example entities if you want an entity, you just want to create something like this. So hashtag entity and then the one you want. So we're going to copy and paste this and use it. So here we are on the SM Picnic control panel. And as you can see, there are a couple folders, a couple files. If we go into the holograms one, and then in here we want to go into server miner, we can actually change this up a little bit. So up at the top, we've got a, the location enabled, the range, the update range, um, what, who it's facing and then the pages and lines. So what we're gonna do is create a new line. So put hyphen, lines, and then a colon. And then underneath this, we can paste the content that we have. Now, we're gonna change it to creeper, just to uh, show you the difference. And then height, we're gonna put 0.5. And then what we could do is just copy and paste some of the other stuff. Um, you know, here is some text, although we could find some text uh, that has an animation and this one has an offset so the best way to do this is simply by copy and pasting the pre-existing one and then just editing it as you like so that's what we're going to do we're going to save that now if we go into the animation section here you can see there are plenty of other animations that you could potentially use and then if we go into this you can see that down by actions 
we can click right to go to the next page and then down here you can click left to go to the previous page so what I'm going to do is just copy and paste these actions so for the first page we've got left and right and then for the second page we've also got left and right and then let's go ahead and add in one more animation so let's go and find one here is the wave one so we are going to copy and paste it in here and we're going to write hello now we've done that we can click save and if we've done it correctly we go back in game and do dh reload we should have a pretty cool one so it has been reloaded and let's go ahead and find our one so here we go so hello currently has the animation that we set and if we right click theoretically we now have a creeper and also this weird offsetted text um, by 1.01 1 .01, uh, in the x-axis and that is the sort of stuff you can do with it and if we left click we should go back to the original and there we go I'm just clicking the wrong place so obviously this looks dreadful you could do a much better job than i could um, putting in a little bit of effort but that is how you would create them as you can see there's tons of possibilities uh, especially with the actions and putting mobs and all that sort of stuff um, would make it very easy for your players to be able to um, look at stuff and overall a really fantastic plugin so if you want to download it head over to the spigot page it works from 1.8 to 1.19 it's completely free and it is a fantastic plugin there's tons of features as you can see but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around but that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time